and welcome back to Tech Tuesday. I'm Steve Leahy. Thanks for joining me. Another old draftsman tool is on board for today. So I want to talk about the uh, flexible curve. This is another tool that I've had hanging around forever. I used to uh, watch my dad use it, um, other draftsmen, and then I got one in college as well. And it's one of those things that I take for granted. And I'm not sure that everyone knows what it is and what it does. So I thought I'd do a quick Tech Tuesday on it. So if you're looking for just this thing, this is gonna help you out. All right, so before I get into the flexible curve, I wanna just do a quick note about one of the other Tech Tuesdays that I just had. And it was about the two millimeter lead holder. So this is, um, uh, if you wanna jump back in there and check this one out, it's all about this uh, really cool lead holder that I use all the time. Um, a comment from Juan Cato uh, had mentioned something that I had no idea about with this thing. So I wanna show you that real quick before we get into the rest of it. So normally when you buy a two millimeter lead holder, you need to get a, a lead pointer as well. And I showed this off in the last video. It's what you use to basically sharpen that, that point. But, Juan had a really cool thing that I had no idea about. So in this lead holder, there's this little tiny hole in the back of the lead holder. And what that silver button is, is when you zoom back out, when you press that, that's what releases the jaws that will allow the lead to come out. But say you have your lead, I'll put this in backwards so that it's kind of, you know, dull here. Say you don't have your lead holder and you need to sharpen your lead. Well, that little hole in the back actually does that for you. And I had no idea. I've used these things forever. So thank you, Juan. So what you do is you actually just kind of put this in the back side and twist it around. Kind of got to hold it and twist it. It's not meant to be the perfect sharpener. I was blown away. So see how it's sharpening that, that point? And you can keep that going. It doesn't have the super sharp point that a lead holder has or lead pointer has, but it will get by in a pinch. It will sharpen that down to a, a reasonably sharp point. So thank you, Juan, for that. That was awesome. So I wanted to kind of show that because this is one of the tools I use with this um, flexible curve or flexible ruler. Then this is what we're talking about. What it is, is it's a plastic kind of, I don't know, square extruded tube I guess and inside of it there is a metal spine so what that allows you to do is it allows you to kind of bend this thing in any shape you want and it will hold its shape so I'll give you a good example of what I'm, I'm using it for so you see this painting that I've got going on I've got these names that are along the side of the jet so in order to lay those out it's just really nice to have this little kind of flexible straight edge in a way that I can just hold in place and then draw that line along along the, the way and what's nice is because the body of this jet is pretty much the same I can just make a minor adjustment to it and then move it down and then I have the same the same curve ready to go you can do a lot of other things this is not a terribly expensive one the better ones will hold their shape even better so if I turn if I kind of put this in a u-shaped this will relax and, and bend out. The really good ones won't do that. You can basically put it at uh, just about any curve you want and they'll stay. So again, this is a less expensive one. I couldn't find my good one, so I haven't used it in a while, but, uh, but you definitely get the idea. Let me um, grab a template here. So the other thing you can do too to set those curves is you can use other templates to kind of mimic their curves and then that will give you the, the shape that you, that, that you want out of that. And then you just move it around and use it as you would use anything. And it's great for kind of drafting lines. You can use it as a kind of a template. This is square, so it'll hold up against the surface. So you can actually airbrush against this and it will produce a really nice kind of crisp line as long as you hold it down. But you just gotta be careful because the shield itself has so much behind it to block you know any of the overspray you have to really use it for detail oriented spraying because if you spray back you'll obviously get you know the the outline of the other side of the the, the uh, flexible curve so you don't want that but it's a really cool tool they're inexpensive um, and uh, they really work well so anyway I hope this helped you out with uh, another great tool for your toolbox 
And if you enjoyed this, please consider liking and subscribing and clicking that bell icon as that will get you all the new videos in your feed. All right. So for Steve Leahy and Tech Tuesday and his flexible curve, I will catch you guys all on the next one. Thanks a lot.